Today we're going to be installing an AWE exhaust, just like mine, on this C8 Corvette. Hi guys, I'm Donna Marie and you're watching the Corvette channel. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott and today I am going to be taking you through the installation of installing an AWE touring exhaust on this C8 Corvette. Now I've already done the installation on mine and you can see that how big those tips are, how pretty they are, how well they shine. We're going to be putting the exact same system on this car today and we're going to show you exactly how you go about doing it. Um, so when I did my my very first install on my car, I learned a lot of little things, little things that you can do to make your life a heck of a lot easier than installing one of these. And uh, I'm going to be able to show you how to do it by yourself. And then you also, if and I'll po point that out in the video. There's certain things that if you have friends that are there to help you it makes it a lot easier, especially the removal part of the muffler from the car, the original muffler from the car. Putting the new muffler on is not hard because it's in pieces and you're assembling it as it goes up in there. But it's very self-explanatory and so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to get this car up here on the lift and we'll get it ready. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the rear bumper off and I'll have that prepped and I'm not going to show you how to take the rear bumper off. As a matter of fact, I think I did my last video on how to take a bumper off. I did it on this car. So um, I'll try to put the link up there, so uh, up on the page, um, so you'll know where to go if you've not ever taken your bumper off. Um, but we'll get this up on the left. We'll get it prepped. All right, guys, one more thing before we get in there and start installing this exhaust on this car. I want you to be able to hear the difference right in the very beginning of the video on the difference of what the AWE Touring exhaust sounds like versus what the factory sounds like. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to fire off the factory exhaust here and let you hear what that sounds like first, okay? So here we go. Now, these cars have both been ran today, so they're not, these are not cold starts. These are already just average, everyday startup, okay? So you can see that sounds all right, but it's, it can sure a lot, be a lot better, right? We're going to go ahead and shut that one off. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to start mine. So you can definitely hear the difference and I can tell you this just sounds awesome. I don't know how good the camera is picking that up but just talk about awesome. It just sounds great to me. Um, and there's a lot of other features that, and, and things that are going to help you along the way that makes this exhaust a much better exhaust than the factory exhaust. One, and I'll, I'll put a lot of those up on the screen and show you that, but one of them I can tell you without a doubt, without any question, is, and you're going to see this on how much this, this unit weighs, when you go to pull the factory exhaust out, this thing is pushing the heck out of 100 pounds. I think it's like right in the ballpark of about 80 pounds. Uh, and so there's a lot of difference in weight. And you're going to see that with all that comes out of here and then what will we put back in. It's very lightweight. And so you're, you know, you're just reducing the weight of the car itself as well as a lot of other benefits. And we'll go ahead and I'll, I'll list all those there. It's just too many to list. Um, but I actually did ask to be able to get you all of that information. And I wanted to be able to have it for you so you would know. Um, and so anyway, we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll put that up on the screen too. Um, so anyway, guys, sit back and relax and we're gonna go get this thing, get this thing installed, okay? Okay, so now we've got the bumper off. This is where we're gonna get started here. So we've removed the bumper. And there's a few other things that we're gonna have to do here. Uh, one is <clears throat> we're going to have to take the liner out of in here to be able to get into the area where the exhaust bolts are. And we'll be able to get some of the bolts free from here and then we're gonna do some from the bottom. But uh, these are all 15 torques. You're going to be pulling 
these uh, the little carriers here that holds the carpet on or not the carpet but the uh, little cargo net so there's one there there's one right here <clears throat> excuse me there's also one right down here and one right there as well as we're going to take these 15 torques out and then if you look down in here also you look right down here there is a little plastic pin right here it's kind of a christmas tree pin there's one right there and right here let me see if i can get that one for you so the uh, let me see right there that that's we've got to pull those out and then at that point we can pull this carpet completely out of the car and that will reveal the air cleaner and all the stuff that we're going to need to get to okay so we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull that stuff out in the meantime take a look at this awesome box uh, awe packages these really really well and you can see I haven't opened this one yet, so you can, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll pop it open here while you're, while you're watching, okay? Because I want you to see how well they package these. Every one of them is packaged like this. They take a really good amount of time to make sure that these are in there and they're in there nice and safe in the box where they're not gonna get damaged in shipping, okay? So you can see that, that there is, there's your heat shield. Okay, and then they even, on anything that's protruding, they also stick on the little foam, little foam covers. Okay, so there you have it. So we've, there's the part of the chrome tips and all that stuff. We'll go ahead and we'll be pulling all that stuff out here in just a minute. But while, um, while I was out here, I wanted to be able to show this to you before we get really into it. All right, guys, this is what the system looks like once you get all the packaging out of the box and you kind of set it in place. This is kind of how it goes together, and uh, you'll be able to see that when we go to put it together. But there's the heat shield right there. You've got your two exhaust, the main tips that are not the pretty ones. Uh, those go on each side there as well as the mufflers. The clamps, all the bolts you're going to need to be able to put it together. And then the awesome chrome tips in this in this kit okay if you've elected to get the smoke tips it'd come in the exact same box that you know the black tips um and they're like a shiny mirror they're really pretty i've done a few sets of those already and those look really nice and um then if you look down in here they also give you your blow pop you can see right there it's in the box okay um they also give you a sticker if you want to put the sticker on your car or put it somewhere I put all my stickers up on the up on my wall there. You can see that I've got got stickers of all kinds, but that's where I put mine. But this is probably your most important thing right here. Besides watching my video today, you're going to they give you this card, and um, let me see if I can open it up here. It's going to give you a link link here, a QR code that you can go and it will take you right to the installation of the, inst you know, for the installation instructions from the factory on exactly how to do this. So um, you're, you're never alone and, you know, they'll be able to help you out. But this, like I said, once you watch this video, it's extremely straightforward. There's really not a lot of hard anything to do with this. It really isn't. It's literally just getting it to this point taking this cover off that we're gonna take off here in a minute, and then, um, you know, just start unbolting the old thing. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna show you, uh, if you've got some friends, uh, then great, because you're gonna need them to be able to lower this exhaust, the factory exhaust back down without hurting yourself or hurting anything. But uh, I've got an actual like little table lift, a little hydraulic one. And what I do is, you'll see this in the video, I put this, down below the muffler and that's way I can pull the muffler loose set it on this and I can drag it away from the car without dropping it hurting myself or hurting the car so you'll be able to see that here in just a few minutes okay so we're gonna dive into this right now guys here we go we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take these these uh, little, little plugs off that we told you all of our fasteners we're gonna take these out take these and we'll set them up here on top get them out of the way Those right there, and we've got some right here. All 
All right, now we've got our 15 Torx screws here. If you get them loose, you can just leave them kind of in the holes where they're at. They'll stay there. And then you can pull this whole cover off here in just a second. See which one is still grabbing. Find this one down at the bottom. There we go. There we go. And we can just set that up there like so. Same thing over here, guys. We're gonna do the same thing. with guys is right here we've got our two plugs that we were just talking about like that we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna pull those free we'll just pull them up just get yourself a nylon pry tool like I said and there's one right here on this side too okay and then we'll do that on the opposite side So we've got our two plugs out on that side there too. So now we can go ahead and we can pull our carpet free. Now we'll have to pull it kind of out from underneath this rubber, just like that. Okay. And then you'll have to pull, pull it out here because it's not gonna wanna come up. So you can kind of pull out and out and then up and this comes, comes on out, okay? Now, what that does is that, re that reveals all of the other 15 torques that we've got. We've got some that come all the way across here, like so. And we're going to have to take all of these out to be able to get to here. So we're just going to go ahead and start, start here. You can start anywhere. Um, these screws are all exactly the same. There are 15 torques, the same length, same thread, everything. So it doesn't matter um, as long as you can just make sure you don't lose them. They'll go back in, in any of the same holes. Guys, half of the installation is just getting prepped for it. Taking the bumper off, taking all of the carpet out, taking all of this trim out, because we haven't even started to touch the exhaust system at all. The exhaust will be probably the easiest part of the whole job and, it'll, and take the least amount of time. The other thing, guys, if you have a convertible and you're doing this on a convertible, there'll be a lot less screws and they will be, and the carpet comes out a little bit easier. So, um, a little bit easier job on the convertible. done here and then we'll be able to pull this cover out and then it's going to reveal the, the exhaust flange bolts that are 13 and 15 millimeter. So I'll show you that here in just a second. We'll go ahead and pull this out of the way. All right so guys this is where we're looking at. We're looking at right here. If you can kind of see this. You know, if you, Jen can you see my fingers right there you go. Okay, so on this side, you have two 15 millimeter bolts. On the opposite side, 
over on this side here, you actually have three 13 millimeters uh, bolts over here. And one of them is right in the very bottom. So we've got to be able to get that from the bottom. And in all reality, we're going to break these, try to break these free from the top, but you're really going to end up doing almost all of the work from the bottom. Okay, but what we are going to do here is that we're going to go ahead and we're going to put some, um, some break free or some WD-40. You want to get some, uh, some penetrant on these bolts and let them sit for a little bit. Um, let me see if I can get my thing here to work. You want to make sure that that is being able to get on those bolts just in case where we don't end up breaking a bolt. I want to free those up. Okay, so just like so. And then you will have to get the one from below. We'll have to get it from underneath, okay? Now, what I did here is I also, um, let me take a look under here in the wheel well, Jenny. You can see that the wheel wells have been pulled out. I've pulled them completely out so we can reach in there. Because sometimes, no matter what, no matter what type of luck you have, and I don't always have the best luck, I will drop a socket and it'll drop down into the carrier down there and I'll have to be able to reach in to get it. So be aware of that. You might as well just pull this out of the way. This way you're not having a problem later on down when you're doing the installation. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna let this sit for about 15 minutes and then we'll come back to it. This pretty much is all the tools you're gonna need, okay? Uh, a couple extensions because we're going to have to put these two extensions together and you'll see why here in a minute. Uh, we're going to be very, very limited on on space. We're going to drop the carriers of the, the exhaust. It's going to come down a little bit, but that's how we're going to get to those bolts down underneath the car. We're also going to have a, if we need it, we'll have our, our uh, regular wrenches, 13 and 15. We've got our 13 and 15 deep as well as shallow sockets. And then we also have a universal right here. And this is going to be yours. Some of them, you know, you guys have got a regular universal socket. Um, those don't tend to do as well as this style here, but it will work. If you know, if you're only doing this one time, I wouldn't tell you to go out and buy new tools just to do it. But um, anyway, when I did mine for the very first time, I did not have this. I knew I was going to be doing it a, a lot. So I went and got one of these, but uh, regular universal, the sockets will be too heavy. They're, it's going to fall on you. And so it's going to be a pain in the butt. Okay. So just be aware of that. And then I've got two different size sockets and I've got a reducer here to go from three eighths to half inch. That's pretty much all we're going to need guys. Um, possibly you may need a pry bar if the, um, if the pipes were installed on the car a little too tight and we have to bow it down a little bit. But again, you'll know when we go to do this, we'll, we're gonna take the carriers completely down and let the exhaust hang. And we'll know just how much I can pull down to be able to get in there. It's like, there's just a little slot that we're gonna be able to get right in with that socket and get these bolts free, okay? All right, guys, like we said, uh, we've got three 13 millimeters over here. We can only get to two of them. And what I like to do is I like to break these free as much as I can ahead of time, make sure that it's not, I've, I've got really close here and I can break these bolts free. I just wanna make sure that they're gonna, yeah, okay, so you can see right there, that's, they're breaking free. And then I wanna go ahead and do that on this one, okay? There we go. All right, so now we've got those free. And then I'm gonna grab the other socket and again, this side, there's two 15s. So we're going to do that over here. Okay. We're just going to get those where they're, where they're moving. There we go. Just like that. All right. So now the next thing is to go ahead and lift the car up or jack the car up. If you're doing it on jack stands, you can. Um, it's going to be a way bigger pain in the butt doing it on jack stands, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to lift this up on the, on the lift, okay? And then this way we can get in there and you can see everything that we're doing. So what we've got to do, we've got to start taking things apart now. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take the, the connector right here. There's a little red safety clip. We're going to pull that out a little bit and then we're going to press down and we'll pull this off, okay? 
this valve is going to end up staying with the exhaust. Now, the old, the old exhaust systems, they actually took these valves and they moved them and they transferred them over to the new system. But now we have valve simulators, so we will just be plugging a valve simulator into this and then wire tying uh, it up like so to get it out of the way so you won't have any check engine lights, okay? So we're going to come over from here, we're going to go and do the exact same thing on the other side. You can see right here, exact same thing. You got the red tab. You're just going to pull that out and push down. And then this comes off like so. Okay. And we'll just get that out of the way right now. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our, our uh, carrier loose. And let me see, I think it's a, it's a 13 millimeter right here. So let's go ahead and get that. We'll do that. And if you've got a, you know, if you've got a power wrench or whatever and you want to use it, you can on this. It's not a big deal. But if you guys notice here, I should have pointed this out. You can see right here that I've got my little lift table right here. And I've got a little bit of room to allow for the system to drop now a little bit as I get get it free from the carrier. Okay, so it's going to, uh, we're gonna go and get this carrier loose and then we'll do the other side. Oh, I just dropped my bolt, I'll get it here in a second. And we're gonna end up reutilizing this carrier but we'll take it off here in a minute. We're just gonna drop it for right now off of here. So you are gonna reuse this, okay? We'll transfer that over to the other system. Grab my bolt. So we do the same thing on the opposite side over here. start to drop down and you can see it starting to go down there. You can see the gap is getting smaller right there. But our table is going to catch this. Okay. There we go. Alright, so now we come around the other side over here. We've also got the rear carrier, you can see right here, right? So we're gonna have to take that rear carrier off. So we're gonna get that in here and we're gonna pry that off of here. All right, so we got that side. Now we'll go ahead and we'll do it on the opposite side. So then that one's hanging. Okay, so now really what's going on is that the system is being held on by the, the flange bolts up at the top and my little table. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drop my table down just a little bit so I can kind of see the exhaust is now hanging on its own, okay? So now if you look, if you look right up in here, Jenny, can you bring right here? Can you, can you see the bolts up in the corners there? See down at the bottom? There's one right down at the bottom. There's one up near the top. So we're gonna take those bolts free. All right, so then at that point, we can start taking this bolt free.
Now on this side, you may pull the actual bolt itself, um, and that's okay. It may come out of the flange on the back side. When we get the, the exhaust out of the way, we'll be able to re-thread it back in there and, and we'll be good. So we're just gonna go ahead and get this one out, just like so. And we should be pretty close to being able to get it out. It should be, should be free pretty close now. Yeah, it's almost, it's almost out. I apologize for the not being able to see it well, but let me show you here. With a regular universal, see it won't stay up like that. And even this one has a little bit of problems. So you have to be careful with that. But that's, that's your, kind of your Achilles heel when you're trying to get these to start, is that you, your, your universal is gonna flop around. And we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna make sure that we pull this one completely loose so we don't have to try to get this seat set again. Now again, putting this all back together, not, not anywhere near as hard as taking this out. See if I can get some light up in there again. I'm gonna have to get, see if I can get a, there we go. But you can see you're way up there. Once we break that free, we can move over to the other side. guess not you can hear and see every time that camera or every time the flashlight uh, moves it's because the um, the cover it's or the exhaust is going down just a little bit all right so it looks like we just about got that free go ahead and pull this loose it back down there like so but that now is free on this side so we should be able to wiggle it around you can see right there it just wiggles around so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move over to the other side we're gonna go back over to our 13 millimeter um, bolts and then we'll see if we can get that side free what you can see here I'm standing over off to the side now this bottom bolt I was telling you about is virtually invisible you can't see it from in there it's coming in from an angle but I am actually connected to it right now now what I did is I cheated a little bit okay I use my extensions just like this and then I take my other arm and I reach it up inside here okay and I can get my hands on the bolt from right up in here so you can see where my arm is going up in there and I'm actually touching that bolt and I've got the socket on that bolt so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take I'll get my my ratchet on here and, and then I'll uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get that bolt free okay and then I'll go back up and I'll get the other two because I can see those so my light is kind of right where I need to be so I'm gonna try to get it out of the way and see here and again guys if you guys are doing this on your own you're not gonna have the problem that I'm doing right now trying to show you how to do it. You're just gonna be able to see it. But there you go, you can see how much easier that was to get onto that one there. So now we'll go ahead and we'll be able to take this bolt free. Get this one, get this one free. We're pretty close now at this point. So we can pull the exhaust forward a little bit 
open that. There we go. I just saw the nut come loose. We can pull that one out. All right, so now before we drop it, the only thing we have left is we've got two more, two more valves that we've got to disconnect our, our connections from. And they're right, right here. Okay, so you can see right here, it's the same, same exact thing. You're gonna use your, use your clip here or your, your hook. Free that up and then you're gonna pinch. If I use my, my hands here, let me see if I can get this up in here. So there's that. We'll get this over here. There we go. You saw that come forward. Then we're just going to pinch, pinch the button. Let me see if I can do that where you can see it better. I'm going to pinch here like so and pull it off. Okay. stuck but we'll get it there we go and it just came free okay so now just to, before we take anything loose here let's go ahead and go through everything just to make sure we've got our two bolts our two 15 millimeter bolts that are loose on this side they're completely removed from the flange We've got our three bolts, so three 13 millimeters over here. We've got all four of our valves disconnected, right? So now, now we've got our two carriers that are completely, uh, completely free. So the only thing that's really holding on to this thing right this minute is my table and the two flanges on each side. So I'm going to clear my space here, and I'm going to start sliding the, the table more underneath the, the exhaust. Now that we're free, we're just going to lift the exhaust up just a little bit here. We're going to slide the table underneath it. Okay. And then at that point, we can go ahead and we can just start to slide the exhaust up onto the table. And it, you can see that it's free from the car. Okay. Just like so. And then all of the flanges and all that type of stuff is going to get try to get stuck on you. So you can lower your table down a little bit. And you can start to pull all this stuff out. Like so. Again, guys, if you got some friends, and you don't have to worry about this, you guys can just grab it in case you can pull it out. But I'm doing it by myself. And that was the whole purpose, to be able to show you how to do it yourself. Okay, so we're almost there. we go. I think I got my wheel lock, so I'm going to get free. And now I can go ahead and I can move the exhaust out of the way. Now that we've got the, the original exhaust off, you know we dropped our bolts down inside here, our nuts. So like I was telling you, don't worry about it. You can reach right up in here, right up inside the carrier here, and you can feel it. You'll find them. They're laying in there. And they were laying right there, both of them. Okay, so that's the, that's on that side. So we'll set these over here up to the side right now. So set them right there. Same thing over on this side. We'll be able to find them in here. I think we're only missing one. And there it is. I got my hand on it. And there you go. Okay, so now we've got all of our parts we need to be able to go back and put everything back together. All right, guys, our next step before we get started and we end up getting to a point where we can't get to where we need to be with these, these are valve simulators. They're included in the kit. There's four of them. And we're, everywhere we unhooked one of the plugs from a, one of the valves, we're going to plug that simulator in. Okay, so we're just going to plug it in like so and have it snap. You can hear that. It comes with, the kit also comes with the wire ties. So you're just going to take and put a wire tie up here like so and strap it up. Okay, just like that. Get it up and out of the way. And then we're gonna go ahead and we'll cut the wire tie. Just like that. We're gonna do the exact same thing over on this one. 
okay? Just make sure it snaps. And then I almost forgot, you wanna make sure that you do the safety clip. And so we'll do that on this one just to make sure. Right, there we go. And then we're gonna go ahead and we'll do our wire tie, get it up here. This way we don't, this thing doesn't rattle around and end up getting next get pinched next to the exhaust and burn. We don't want to have any problems that way. Okay, just like that. And we'll take one more and we'll come over here. Same exact thing. Okay, and they're keyed, they only go one, one way. So there you go that, click that like so. And then we're just gonna zip tie it up here like this. And if, Jen, if you can see that, see right there like that. Just gonna zip tie it. Just like that, and then we'll clip this. Okay, and then we're gonna go to the other side. Like that, do our safety latch, and we'll just put this little guy right up here. put it up there kind of like this where nothing's hanging okay and then we'll clip it and then those are done okay so now the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put one of these on now this is welded all the way around there is no adjustment on this one at all so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this one up in the hole here you want to make sure that you have your nuts ready to go okay and we're just gonna get that, you can see right here, it just goes right up in there. We're just gonna tighten it, get them started like that. And then we'll get the nuts started. Okay, and you can get your hands, you can see what I'm saying guys, you can get up in here a lot better than you could when we were, when we were taking the other system off. So we're gonna do the same thing over here Let's see if I can get my hand I can get my hand all the way up in there and I can touch everything so then we'll use our ratchet and we'll tighten everything up but I'm gonna do it do it as much as I can by hand this makes it easier okay like that and then our bottom one oops my arms hitting Jenny's camera All right, so again, those were 13 millimeters. So we're gonna take our 13 millimeter ratchet and we are going to go ahead and get that onto the bolt. Just like so. This one up there again guys you can see just how much easier it is to do this With all that big old factory muffler out of the way okay guys remember these are 15 uh, 15 millimeters uh, bolts on this side so I'm just getting these started by hand All right, so now those are kind of up there and you can see what that looks like, okay? All right, guys, we are doing our best here to make sure you guys can see up inside there. I am working like over to the side, so it's kind of tough for me to be able to actually get any bite on these bolts, but I wanted to be able to make sure that the camera could get up in there. So you can see that what I basically got going on here is I'm using my table to hold my crossover pipe, my center crossover pipe, and I'm tightening got it up right up against the frame basically and then I'm tightening this bolt here until it gets snug and then I'm gonna do and I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna put it on this bolt here which hopefully 
hopefully here in a second, Jennifer will be able to see that with, with the camera. Okay, as you can see right there. And let me see if I can get a little more light and see right there that I'm tightening that light. There we go, I'm tightening that bolt up right there like so. there all right and then I'm gonna go back to this one up on the top and just make sure that it's snug nice and tight so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put our hangers back on mufflers here and we can go ahead and we can start this right here like so we'll get this up into our hanger and we can push it through push it through like so and then bring it up on the back side here you can go and see right here we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the ear up inside here so get that up in there and started just like that okay we're gonna do the exact same thing over on this side. Okay, so you can see how it's pretty much starting to take shape, but we're leaving everything loose. We need to do the exact same thing over here. Get that started. Put our fret hanger in. Just like that. push that forward just like that and then we'll be able to catch this one lift that one up yeah okay so now that's that's being held so now at that point we're just gonna, we're gonna wiggle this back and forth and you can feel the pipes they're, they're gonna go into their own nice little happy spot Okay, guys, now that we've got everything hung, well, now what we're going to do is we're just going to push up on this, okay? We're going to push that up as far as it'll go, and then we're going to go ahead and start tightening this up. And this is a 16 millimeter nut. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing over here. here. I think my battery is dying on my, my gun, guys, my side ratchet. And we'll go ahead and we'll get them snugged up. All right. So you can see it's still wanting to come down. So as we go and we apply pressure, um, I'm gonna get, I'm just gonna do this by hand and get these snugged up like that. Okay, and as these tighten down, this is gonna stop moving.
All right. There we go. You can see it's nice and tight now. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the, the tailpipe itself or the tips uh, portion on. Now, if you take a look at this, you can see how this rises up from this area here. That's how you want it to sit. So if we were to put it on like that on the other side, the, the pipes would be sitting too low. So you're going to want to put them on like that. Okay. So these have a special, uh, special um, clamp. They're rounded. They allow for it to be able to adjust. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this on. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that your nut, your tightening nut is pointed downward because you're not going to be able to dial this in exactly until we get the cover back on the bumper cover. So we're going to have to be able to reach on, reach underneath there and tighten this up. Okay. So this is a 13 millimeter. And so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to snug it up. Let's see if I can get my, my ratchet on there. Blow that on there. All right, so now we've got that all tightened up and you can still see that I can maneuver it, okay? But we're gonna need to be able to have that positioning in there because we're gonna put our chrome tips on after the fact, right? We're gonna put the cover on, then we'll put the tips on and we have to be able to make sure that all of this stuff is adjustable. So we're gonna go and we're gonna do that on the opposite side now too. Okay, so now our socket is pointing down. These are these are snug, but I can still move it around. Okay, so we're gonna leave it just like that. And then that way, once we get the cover on, we can go ahead and tighten these up. So this we're actually gonna do afterward, but I wanna be able to just kind of show you what these things look like. They're gonna slide right over just like that. And um, we'll end up tightening these down once we get them on. But take a look at how that looks. Doesn't that look cool? All right, guys, one more thing before we put the bumper on, and we don't want to forget this, is our heat shield, okay? Without the heat shield, you will end up having a, 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 a bumper that gets all warped from the heat, okay? So the cutouts are here already on exactly which screws we're going to pull out, okay? So we're going to pull this one here, okay, and we're going to pull this one. This one here, this one here, and this one right here. And we got two over here in this bottom, bottom corner also. Okay, so now we're going to set those off to the side. So now what you've got is you've got a You've got a washer, a Phillips screwdriver, or a screw, and you've got your washer here, okay? So what happens is you're literally going to put your screw in through the washer, you're gonna put your, your spacer on, and then you're gonna tighten this down into the hole. And yes, these are not the same threads, but they work just fine. These are what is supplied from the factory, okay? that that again I feel like so so that do the exact same thing over here.
get these started here. put your other factory screw back in here and also in this spot here we're going to move that one over to here This one here, I almost forgot this one. And then we'll tighten these down. All right. We are ready to go ahead and put the bumper on. We're gonna put all of our interior stuff back in, exactly how you, how you saw me take it out. It's just the 15 Torx all the way around. And we're gonna go ahead and put the carpet liner back in and then we'll put the bumper on and then we'll come back and, and finish the installation, okay? We, I've got one of the tips just kind of sitting here. I've just slid it on and I'm gonna be putting this one where this one's sticking out farther and then this one will kind of go in a little more on this side. And looking down, you'll be able to see the AWE emblem that's engraved in each one of the tips. Now, what you're doing is there's a little package, has four bolts and four nuts here. You're gonna go ahead and put this in from the top. That's gonna lock in place. Then you're gonna go ahead and start your nut, okay? Just get it started like so. This is a 10 millimeter nut. So you're just gonna get it started, okay? Just like that. And then you're gonna go ahead and slide it over the tips, okay? Like that. So now all you're doing is just trying to get them to look, you want them perfectly straight. You want to get, you know, get the emblem sticking straight up and down. You want them to be, you know, where they're, where they're visible. So you can, everyone can see what type of exhaust you've got, right? These are awesome looking tips. You might as well make them look awesome. So now what we're going to do here is instead of using a tape measure, right to be able to adjust your tops all the way across and your sides I'm just taking a ratchet or my my uh, wrench here that's it's just a ratcheting wrench but i'm going to use this this thickness and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go over here and you see there's a gap and there's a gap here as well as here let me turn my other light on maybe that helps a little bit so what i'm going to do is i'm going to adjust i'm going to adjust these up okay and I'm gonna go ahead and get this adjusted pretty close to where I want it. Because we still have to, remember, we still have to adjust that, uh, that elbow in the very back, okay? So we've got that, that's pretty good. And that right there is gonna be really close. And right there, that's about right. And then we're gonna go here and we're gonna bring the whole assembly over. So like so, okay? So at that point, those are pretty darn close. Again, the top of the tip, we'll put our bolt in. Like that, put our nut on. And the reason I'm using that wrench is because it was driving me nuts trying to measure with a tape measure. And this is a static, static distance and it looks perfect. Okay, so this is a 17 millimeter wrench that I'm using. So that kind of give you an idea of the thickness. 
of what I'm using and it came out really really good and so that's that's what I've stuck with so um, you know there, sure there's an actual measurement that you can use but I chose not to do that because I didn't want to like drive myself absolutely bonkers okay so I do the exact same thing we're gonna push this up and then we'll start pushing this down see right there that's up see that gap it's almost exactly where we need it this is a little bit more so we're gonna pull this over again like I said okay and then we'll go up just like so and that gets us preliminarily where we are okay what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're going to adjust that bolt in the back that is on that that one flexible flange that we, we had that it kind of looked like you could adjust the whole thing. We're gonna tighten that down. That's a 13 millimeter. I think we can actually show you on this side over here. So I'm gonna try to take you over to this side and we'll see if we can tighten that down. Get my wrench out of the way here. All right, so here's our 13 millimeter nut. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna tighten that up. Hopefully you guys can see that. Now you can see why I was saying you want to have the bolts in the back so you can get to them. There we go. That's pretty tight. All right. So now we can go ahead and take that off. And we'll go back up to the front here. And we'll take our 10 millimeter socket. And we're going to get our pipes pretty close where we want it. Let's take a look at our gap. Gap's pretty close, almost exact. We can probably scoot those over just a hair. Okay. That. Okay. All right. Now, put that where we want it. Now, all I'm doing is I'm gonna make sure that my, my pipe is hitting straight up and down with the logos and that they're staggered like that okay now you can adjust them however you want but i want to bring them out where they can actually be seen okay and then at that point i'm going to come in here and you put jenny you probably can get it from the front right here you can see this bolt that i'm going to, I'm going to snug up all right so there's that that nut right there so we should be able to go ahead and We'll get it. We'll get it snugged up at first, and then we'll fine tune it because there's too, just too much movement here with it being being really loose. So we're gonna we'll just we'll just get it snug. All right. So now we can turn around and we can adjust this the way we want it. That looks pretty straight right there. We're gonna tuck it in just a little bit because I've got it sticking out quite a bit. There we go. And that looks pretty good, right there. Okay. take our wrench and we're going to stick it right there and that's going to hold that at the right level so when we tighten this down it'll do it'll stay right where we want it now guys some of this these these bolts it's just tight in here so you're just going to have to you know just take your time a couple a couple wrench pulls at a time and but you'll get it and then it'll look awesome Expecting that one to move at all. Nope, that one's good. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing over here. Put our wrench in for our spacer. Just like so. Now we 
should be able to tighten it up. So that's what we're going to do. We'll do that on the other side, and then we'll virtually be done. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to tighten this elbow up underneath here. I don't know if the camera is going to be able to pick this up or not, guys. Um, but there's not a lot of room in here to tighten this all up. to just the the two tips and again what we're going to do we're going to have to snug these up just a little bit get these ready and we could take them off and also take them up and snug them up just a little bit guys okay yeah we can probably get another turn on it before we can slide it in there I just don't want to tighten them down so tight that they don't want to fit on like I just did, right? So, there we go. Same thing over here. the edge of the bumper. Alright, there we go. And then we'll go ahead and put our wrench on it and push this up just like that. Okay. Okay guys, we are close. it so now we've got the exhaust on we've got all our tips adjusted all we're going to be doing is just finish putting the bumper back on the inner wheel liners and put the tires back on and then we're going to drop it down on the ground so to get it down on the ground we'll go ahead and cold start this for the very first time and be able to let you hear it okay the car's on the ground we've got the wheels back on and we have already torqued them so we didn't forget that we're going to go ahead and we're going to start this for the very first time and see what it sounds like here we go settles down after it gets fired up so there you go guys a hundred percent difference I can tell you that for sure all right guys that's how you install an AWE exhaust on your Corvette 
If you guys don't want to do this for yourself and you need this done, be sure and reach out to me. I'm going to put all of that information right here on the screen and we'll be able to get you taken care of, okay? Uh, if you just want to buy the buy the exhaust system and have it drop ship to you, we can do that also because we are a AWE dealer now, so we can do that for you also. So uh, reach out to us. Not only that, but we've also got an online store now, which is uh, CorvetteChannel.net, and you can get just about anything you can imagine on there. And if you see something or you know something that you want, you don't see it on our site, be sure to reach out to me. I'll go ahead and put that information right here because there is so much stuff that's out there and I probably don't have everything on our website yet because we're still, we're still growing. So uh, guys, I wanna thank you guys all for watching today. Uh, it means a lot that you guys take the time to watch the channel. Uh, those of you that have subscribed, um, thank you so much. Those of you that have been watching or maybe just today's the very first time you ever started watching and you guys haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell so you'll be alerted of our next uploads. And uh, you know, it's it's just great there that you guys are uh, following me. I, I want to thank you guys all, even when we do our live broadcasts, that you guys all jump in and you watch and you know, like we, we did one just uh, just yesterday as a matter of fact, and it was it was a pretty long video, but it was a bunch of you that stayed and watched and, and commented, and I appreciate that, it's great. So um, guys, I just wanna thank you guys all for watching, and if there's anything you guys need, be sure and reach out to me, and we'll get you taken care of, all right? Again, thank you, and we'll talk to you later. If you liked the video you just watched and like to see more, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe.